Um, five tanker cars gone. And three engines. Uh, I've already connected them. And actually what I'm going to do here quickly is I'm going to daisy chain these tankers together so that they won't uh, so they'll pass fuel up to the engines along the way and I mean I know it's not very realistic because these hoses are here and stuff like that but uh, it is what it is right let's grab that handle okay uh, that one's on, so we can say hose out and make the meat in the middle somewhere. Like that. Maybe? Oof, I don't know if that's sure if that was a bad idea. Perhaps it was a bad idea. We don't know. Uh, so we are gonna, since this is the last car, we're gonna pump to the hose and we are going to pump to tanker. Gonna turn that off. Uh, maybe that wasn't too bad. Uh, maybe just give it a little, little slack, a little slack. Here we go. Hose. Oh. Ooh, I don't know if sure if this is gonna go really crazy. And then these two are gonna pump to this engine, and then those three are gonna go up. So let's quickly do this. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. And then, come on, connect. There we go. A little slack. There we go. Okay, uh, pump to hose. So you can see the fuel is going up. This engine, everything's running right now, so it is consuming fuel. As you can see, this one's trying to stay up to the top as it's keeping up. And then, so same with this one here. Let's daisy chain these two. Uh, there we go. Okay, this time I won't try and make it meet in the middle, I'll just do the one. Okay. Uh, out of the way now. Oh boy. Just having a little bit of a harder time with this one. Try it again. Pump to tanker. Uh, pump to hose. Let's reel the hose in. I think I have it on max speed too, if I remember correctly. There we go. Let's just hose out a bit. Give it some slack. There we go. Uh, that should go this. Uh, this won't move because it's full anyway. Alrighty. So we're going to say pump to hose. Hose out. Come on. See how, we're, how hard work it is working on the railroad. Hose in. Uh, pump to tanker. Just hose out a little bit. Let's give it some slack. No, no idea if this is going to work. It's my first time really trying this, so hopefully it works for you guys. And to the engine. Now the only trouble I'm going to run into is my lead engine is going to starve. Um, I think my plan for this is that once it runs out, we're just going to run it um, with these two, or I'm going to swap it or something. Then, um, not really quite sure because now I'm thinking I might have an issue with my lead engines and stuff.
These hoses just aren't long enough to reach all the way. So, I don't know, maybe one of these times what I'll do is I'll use one of these compartments if I can. I don't think there's enough room to put hoses in here to do this type of work, you know? See, like I have my one of my engines here, it's like full. Alright. So these all are set up. Uh, this is why I don't like the shocks. I, I tried to do a knuckle system on a previous version, switched it back just to make it compatible with other tanker cars and stuff like that in the game. They just kind of, they don't line up sometimes, especially around corners. Um, so lead engine, tail engine, they're all set up. This one is controlling everything down the train. Uh, the only issue I might have is when I do the lead, try to make that one the lead engine. I'm going to have to try and figure that out. Alrighty. Uh, let's get going. Now this is not going to make a great stream, just to give you the heads up. Just because, you know, we are trying to make it to the Arctic. Slowly get this going. Oh, uh, Get my back lights on. I'm really hoping we got sound. No wheel slip yet. A oh, little bit. Back off. Basically, just tapping the throttle, trying to not get wheel slip. Once we get wheel slip, it really slows us down. Uh, are we at 100%? Okay, we're at 100%. So far, 75 miles per hour. Uh, the train's not glitching. You know, the frames aren't too bad. A little bit noticeable. Let's put in overdrive. Oh, so we gotta turn it, turn this down. Let's get some speed on this puppy. So same thing. Tap it in, tap. Ooh, I'm having a hard time getting past 80. Let's go slower. Come on. We should be able to get this up to about 120. A little bit slower. Oh. A little bit of patience. Oh man, going back my way backwards. It could be the corners. I wonder if I'm, I think I'm having issues back there. I'm having a really hard time getting this up over 90. Yeah. Right, we're below 80, so let's take it out of overdrive again. Hoping I didn't leave any cars on the track. Come on, we can do it. Wait for it to calm down and give another press. I think this is how we're gonna have to do it. Just wait till it levels out. No more. so close. Let's wait for it to go around the track here. I want to see what it does. Or around the corner. So far not bad. Not bad. I just need to keep an eye on that. Uh, yeah, these corners are sharp so hopefully the hoses aren't too tight. I didn't really give it enough slack. Mind you they just kind of phase through things anyway so Probably doesn't really matter too much. Oh, 
Yeah, I think I can't get it past 100. Could be these corners too. So we're 83% throttle. in a straightaway here. Maybe this will help. Wait for the train to go in. Alrighty, let's try this. Over on the straightaway. Let's get it up. There we go. Just tap it, tap, tap it up. there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we are almost at 100%. I don't think I'm going to make it to 100%. corners are really hard to get it up. Yeah, too bad it wasn't just a little bit smoother. As you can tell, it just like clunkety clunkety clunk 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 clunk. So where are we at? We're here and I don't know how long it's going to take us to get there. It's going to take us a little while, I think. Unless one of our engines derail, then it, uh, we're not making it at all. Simple as that. But we will try and... Uh, See if we can get this thing up to full speed. Now we're at 85, so let's push a little more. Get up to at least 100. Maybe not. I think it's these corners are just horrendous. Oh. Just keep trying, just keep trying. Is that what Dory says? Hmm? She must be out here somewhere. I don't see any Dory. Oh, I might be pushing it. Oh, we're on straight away. And then I won't touch it when it comes into the corner. Oh, no. I think, like, with this much load, we're not going to get any better. <laughs> So we're at 19,000 fuel, and I think we started with 24. So, the temperature's doing well, RPM 684. We have, oh, I thought I had, yeah, amps, there we go. That's how much power the generators are making.
pretty sure. I think what I'll do is I'll use E because I can. When you click it, you can do two times. It'll go two, but when I use my keyboard, it usually goes up four, like point zero four, point zero two. It's point zero two. Wait for it to calm down. One hundred. Ah. Oh, back down to 85. Look at that. Oh boy, this is tough. I thought for sure I had it. I think 0.98 is where I'm going to be sitting at. Had a good straightaway too. Goofed it. Now we're at 0.85 again. Excuse me. All right, we're on a straightaway again, so let's get it up. This time we won't go any farther than point. Nine eight. Oh, I got point zero two out of that. What time for the corner? Ah. Thought I could get it before I got into the corner. So how are we doing here? So I think Arctic will be up there soon. Basically, I'm hoping to run out of track. That's the plan. Brakes are on, holding me back. if I want to push it any further than that. Oh. Yeah, we have that on. We're going to take that off. You know, it's nice to have a nice bright day when you're designing things. And uh, so I've never been up this way through the trains. I spend a lot of my time just trying to build this up. Um, So, just some updates on this version. Uh, I did add the new panels in, so it controls the lights. So you have rear lights, front lights, walkway lights, and the engine lights. Uh, just move this around, added a electrical panel, added the main circuit breaker, and we do have two pumps for both engines, so they, you have to turn those both on. So not much change in here, or no change, same thing. Make sure to unlock the doors, otherwise they won't work. I updated the, again, area the shocks fixed themselves. I'll go to the next train. This is our tail, or unit number two, or tail engine, whatever they call it. Yeah, you can see it's a little slow opening. So you can tell this guy's in backwards. So he's running away. How's his fuel? Oh, fuel. Uh, oh yeah, let's uh, turn on the back lights. Oh, those are brakes. Back lights. There we go. So you see our fuel, even though it's running at 680. Our fuel is staying 
full tank because it's daisy chained from there. So, uh, this unit and the middle unit won't run out of fuel, but we will run out of fuel on the guy up front. So, most likely, we're going to have to ditch him. Or, um, maybe there'll be a spot where I can s switch him around or just turn him off and this guy will push. I don't want to fall off. A dangerous spot without the rails. Yeah, I just wish these corners were you know a little bit more smoother. You know, it's like a polycom kind of game. Uh oh, we're wheel slipping. We're gonna lose speed. I need to get up there. Oh boy. I thought we were safe. Oh boy, there was a lot of speed on this. Let's try to get up again. These corners are just way too rough. Take it out overdrive. So I think that was point nine six is too dangerous. Get out of this corner. Okay, we have a small window of opportunity to get, to get back up again. Maybe I can't get it. Get it going here. Okay, I think I gotta wait for it to settle. What about 83, man? That's it. Turn our lights back on here. We have walkway lights and our front lights. I want to make sure my horn still works. I'm pretty sure I heard it. Yep. Excellent. Doing uh, not too bad. Holy moly, I just cannot get this. So I guess the train bounces around, and if once you have wheel slip, it's just it's a killer, a killer to the speed. This whole video is going to be basically trying to get the engine up to speed. I mean, from what I understand, it does fairly well compared to some other engines. Um, thanks to some of the feedback I've received on the channel. Thank you again. So it's good to know. Uh, most likely the difference is the weight on this is a little bit heavier. And that would be because it has two diesel engines. And the large battery and the generator. So. You know, I haven't really had time to look at other people's creations. Um, I did look at this, I think it was a CSX, which kind of gave me some ideas for the cab layout and the front. Um, just when I first started creating this, I had, you know, I had some steps on the side to try and make it look like that, but steps just aren't really possible just because um, they actually end up hitting the walls.
so it's yeah too bad um, like these walls are really close so when I had steps they were actually touching the sides so I mean I could I guess I could have made the steps there but then you'd have this really tiny platform yeah not bad How are we doing for fuel? 16,000 liters, I guess. I should look that up to see uh, what the default is. Well, should I? I know I can get it higher. Well, we're a pretty good straightaway, so maybe this might be a time to bring it up to point. We'll try point nine six if I can get there, or nine five, whatever's closest. A couple seconds. Oh, nine four. Ninety six. Oh, I'm so tempted to keep going. And then maybe try and slow it down for a curb or for the curves or something. I think we've leveled out. Oh my god. Oh boy, so difficult. Oh, what the heck's going on now? It's like completely lost it. Well, okay, so 100% cannot be 100%. At 100% throttle, I am giving up on that idea. 100%, no more. That's a nice straight way to try it out. There, if I can't do it on the straight way, there's no way I can do it anywhere else. So let's try and get this to 0 0.96 before. straightway with a curve coming up. I don't know if I'm going to get it to 0 0.96 before the curve shows up. Point 0.7. So let's see how it does around a corner at 0 0.6. 0 0.96. Point nine eight failed us. All right, here we go. Get ready to back off. This is going to be our max speed. Battery charge is doing fine. The other thing is I might not have to dump this. I may not have to dump the engine. We can still act as a controller. I think with the other trains, they're generating enough positive power to keep the batteries charged in this guy as well. So even when I lose fuel to this guy, hopefully uh, it'll be okay. Well, the other thing I, I might look at too is maybe creating uh, some fluid connectors we can create to connect to each other between the cars. Starting to look arctic. Oh, maybe that one? No, probably not.
excuse me there, I had to sneeze, guys. I had to turn off my mic quickly. I'm using, like, the, the Razer Kraken headset. And to mute it, I don't have a... Uh, I think I have a keybind on my streamer, Streamlabs. But the way to do it for the Kraken is you have to... The mute button's on the mic. Yeah, so I go and squeeze it, and all you hear is... I think it's kind of a silly design. Silly. Oh, shoot, wheel slip. Wasn't paying attention. So, 0.96 is not quite where it's at either. Like those. Three engines, too. Five cars. And I'd love to see this, like, pull 20 cars or 100 cars or something, you know? I just don't know if the game can handle it. I think after the, the recent update, too, with these instru instrument, instrument panels, um, to me, it felt the game got a little bit more framey, a little bit laggy. But, uh, you know, that just might be me. I'm not sure if anyone else noticed that as well. But, uh, don't get me wrong, I love the flip switches. I was hoping for slip switches so I could do something like that in the back there. You have all your switches. Just kind of toggle them up. farther we have to go. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't think I realized how far this goes. It's a big map. Let's see if I go like that. Oh wow. Uh, just to let you know, I will put it into a, uh, I'm going to trim this out and stuff like that. And, uh, maybe I can use the, uh, YouTube editor, studio editor to, uh, speed up some of these parts, so. Who knows? Just so I would stream while I'm doing this. Let's get this up to, should we try, try and get up to 0.94? Oh, come on. Killing me here. Okay, we'll leave it 0.92 here. Hopefully it leveled out its speed before. thousand almost half a tank background
Sure would make a nice screenshot. How do I do screenshots? Can I do screenshots? Miscellaneous photo mode. Oh, uh, you're gonna sneeze again. Hold, rotate camera, pause, unpause. Earthquake. Oh, as far as it goes. Get to uh, point nine four. 0.96 fail us. Will point nine four fail us? Who knows? Who knows? And let's see, we turn our cabin lights, gives it a nice little red glow. So I don't think we are too far from, I want to say I don't think we're too far from the Arctic. Uh, someone had mentioned that they ran out of fuel just a few clicks from the base. So I'm thinking that once we run out of fuel, it won't be too far out. It's definitely a good test. Um, you know, mostly I just I really wanted to see how people would do a maybe like a delivery mission up to the Arctic or something, because um, if I don't have enough fuel, how am I supposed to make it? So. I mean, with one, I think one of those tankers is over. It's a lot of fuel, 100,000 liters or gallons or whatever. These hold 20 something. The tank, the trains themselves are about 20 something, and those are 100 and something thousand. So, I mean, technically, one of those could, you know, do about four, four engines. But the issue is, how do you get fuel from this guy to the tanker? Oh, shoot. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Kick me up. Try to grab a ladder. Whoa. <laughs> so, like I was saying, how do you get <laughs> fuel to the very front? I'm hoping. Okay, we're on straight away. Oh. You can do it. Good job. Uh oh. Uh oh. I can't get it up. There we go. Oh, whew. There's a corner coming. I think I'm going to wait. I thought for sure. I'm like, well, thanks for watching. That's the end of the stream. <laughs> 
We are no longer going to the Arctic. The train is going by itself. Because there is nothing around us. And, like, I can still move the map. Like, that's crazy how big the map is, you know? Although, the one issue that I had was, like, when I release the train out here and go back, like, it doesn't pop, my, pop up on my map. So, like, I can't return it back. So, it only happens is if I take another train up, and then, oh, it pops up. But then it's like, well, what do I do? I can't return it to the... I'm stuck. You're stuck with vehicles. So you end up having to reload a new map to clear your path. And that's what I did for this one. This is a brand new creative mode for me. I need to make sure I don't fall off. Okay. Pay attention. There we go. Run along the top. Tap 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 tap. There goes my legs. Tap 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 tap. Oh, I gotta get back inside for another corner comes, and don't fall off. Don't fall off. There we go. Okay, we're safe. Okay, no wheel slip. That's good. Good. Oh, just reaching half our fuel capacity now. Ooh, excuse me, a little bit of a yawn there. Like everything's stable. That's that's exact exactly what I could hope for. So the only thing about the train is it's a bit boring on the way up. It's a bit boring on the travels. You know, there's not much in between for a train to do. It'd be nice if there was some sidings or something like that once in a while. I mean, it's a double track where you can't switch in between just in case if there's issues. And, uh, well, the scenery isn't much to look at either. You can tell you can see a nice hidden spotlight, so we can have some some light on the tracks. Well, we are getting there. Tiny little island with its own private beach. Wouldn't that be nice? I am in the map. I don't know why that's there. Is it to tell me that I'm in the map? Maybe a button for something else. Well, if it's 2032... I think... Ooh, I think this train would be a little bit retired. Let's go check out the electrical room. Sound like a plan? Unlock, unlock, and now you can open. So here we have power to our electric generator, which is there back there. This is the electric engine, which is what drives power to, oh, I guess I didn't paste, this is my main electrical board for the train. So as you can tell, it's working just fine. fell off the wall. We'll fix that. No problem. No problem. We'll fix that. And so this green strip is actually the pipe to drive the power into the wheels. So we'll make sure we don't lose that. That didn't fell out the door. 
Make sure somebody's still crouching. Stop crouching. Stop crouching. I can't get him to stop crouching. Oh, okay, now he's up. Look at it. Now he stands up. You know what? Ooh, going around the corner. If I would have fell out on that side, that would not be good. Alrighty, anyway. So again, the nice thing is about here is as soon as one of these doors open, we gotta work late. And that's the point of this board here. It controls that. And hopefully I'm not going around a corner because I don't want to jump out and over the railing. Excuse me. Keep yawning. As long as we're not wheel slipping. So far, it seems like 0.94 is the way to go with this, this load. seen that? Ooh. Interesting, interesting. Oh, is it paused? Hopefully it's not paused. There. Well, that must be the film green. Or is it raining? It has started to rain. Oh, it's like that went under the water and I was just falling right beside the track. So why did that get so loud? We'll see some storms. Let's see what the let's camera. Let's see what that's doing. Rains up there a little bit. And no, it won't be spawning a tsunami at this point. But uh, maybe I'll spawn one when we get to the end. Who knows? Who knows? That's definitely a possibility. The fog is rolling up. Yeah, those connectors look like they're doing okay. Not bad. Probably could do a little bit more slack on them for the corners. So if the train's turning right, it's not pulling. Well, at least these, some of these, like all these islands are... Well, I, th I thought were fairly unique. So 
that unique? Uh, I don't think so. Copy and pasted islands. It's okay. It's a lot of work just for such a small detail, which a lot of people may or may not visit. How are we doing for fuel? We're getting there. Do 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 do. So point nine six is where it's at. Nine four, sorry. Turn on the heat. No, I don't think we need the heater. Yeah, it's not a very good stream, I would say, for this type of thing. So I'm hoping I can speed it up in the replay. find out. I don't have a lot of videos and I don't have a lot of space on my computer just because I have a solid state drive so I don't want to record videos to there and then edit them and then upload them so it's kind of open to use YouTube to stream and then I can edit the video in their studio. It's starting to snow. That is a good sign. That is a good sign for sure. Well, we are entering Arctic territory. Oh, there's the edge of the map. Okay, I didn't realize there was an edge. Oh. Anyway. It's good to know there is an edge. Well, I mean, obviously there's an edge. Just didn't, uh, wasn't sure if it was just all black, and then, you, you know, there is the edge. Yeah, look at those waves. Maybe I can't go down there. Well, maybe I can if I use the camera. I'll unpause it. We will hide the thing in the driver and we will go to. I can't go any farther than that, though. is I want to know is sun oh yeah it's good to know we made it I'm gonna take a print screen of that hopefully that worked double check but the issue is as soon as I I feel like it kind of clicks okay well while it's doing that let's see is there Oh, is this set shortcut? F12? Hey! Who knew? Who knew?
wait for a corner to come up and then uh just come in it's coming around the bin So it'll be we'll add a border. We will add the game because we would like to advertise the game out. Let's see here. Uh oh. wheel slip. So 0.94 will not do it either. Ruin my camera opportunity, man. Anyway, well we can... it. Alright, let's get it back up. It'll slip in. Does the weather play a factor? Or is it just too aggressive? You tell me. I had shortcuts set up to As now snowflakes, uh, let's see, it says it looks like snowflakes are drifting through. That's okay. It's not a big deal. Oh, they molly molly. Killing me. How uh, much fuel we have? We are in the Arctic. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's try and get this back up. Let us slowly take our time. Like point nine four was doing quite well. Ah. If it's like the shocks as the train slows and speeds up. the snow like it's definitely reduced traction try and get this up over 100 miles per hour yeah over 100 miles per hour oof that was a jump of three. Oh, look at that
100 miles per hour is the goal. Did it again. You bum. the overdrive off we'll get it up we'll get it back up there we'll get it Slowly but surely. Oh. It is a pain. Holy moly moly. Killing me here. Can't even get you up to. The wheels are on. Can you get up to 90? Look, geez, I had it higher before. Oh, no. It's just. What's the weather doing? Full rain, yeah, maybe that's what it is. With full rain, I just can't get the traction, so it's okay. We'll be patient and we'll wait. That's what we'll do. Here we go again.
Let's run out of the wheel slip and run out at four. See much fuel. We must be coming close to running out of fuel by now. Ooh. Oh. You know what? Maybe I'm mm, not sure if I want to do that. I could have like a fuel gauge that goes green, 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 yellow, yellow, red. You know what I mean? <laughs> A lot of cool updates. You know, one thing that I wish they would put in is free moving pivots. So they have these robotic pivots for the doors. So like a free free moving one. So you can just open and close the door with a handle. And what would be nice is locks for doors. So to lock this door, it has to be sealed, it has to have, to have a sealed lock, and then you can have the button unlock and unlock it. But what would be nice is if I can just do an unsealed door and lock it, and then it would just unlock and then I can push it open, or if I had a handle, I can grab the handle. You know what I mean? That'd be nice. Minor, minor stuff. Definitely not really worth, you know, bugs, fixing bugs and stuff like that. Much more important, for sure. So, yeah, so you see we're at, we're getting there. We hold 23,000 in fuel. We are down to five or so. See inside the train. So we phase through. Get engines and engines. Air dams, air, all the goodies. And all our sweet pipins. Do 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 big stretches that person ran out of fuel. I think I'm gonna make it to that base, whatever the base this is. I don't know if there is any like, trying to come on the tracks. You know, too bad they didn't have little symbols on the map for tracks. There's a snow wall. This is probably a track. Maybe a road. Who knows, right? Oh. Let's go. Here we go. I don't really want to stop. 
So I don't see any fuel inside the track, so we'll just keep going. Yeah, so one thing I could do is I could have one tanker between the engines, hose up, hose down, and that would fill it for quite some time. Uh, I don't know where these go. Again, I haven't really been up here at all, so I don't know the map. Well, the thing is I can create a hose on each one. connector or do a fluid connector instead there's so many options we're just going to try and go as far as we can so far it's been over an hour of uh, amazing content there's a daylight oil refinery Again, we're just going to keep going wherever the track leads us, so we are going to break off right. We're going to go until this engine runs out of fuel. I know those engines aren't going to run out of fuel anytime soon. Uh, like 20 times the amount of the fuel of this guy. I do want to see where where these trains would go. So I mean technically they can make it to this base here. Without issues. And it could go to the oil refinery too. Go off left and come back. Alright, another fork on the road. Giggity. So, I mean, this setup is, is Arctic-worthy, I would say. I don't know how many kilometers this is in-game. are tough, they lag quite heavily. out of fuel. Oh, there we go. So there's a terminal endo. Okay, so if I really wanted to, I could could go here and fill up. I really want to see what happens when this engine runs out of fuel. There's an Arctic survey base. I 
I'll just push it, you know? Already have an hour stream of uh, basically going from here to there. Gonna run out of fuel. bother playing with that right now is let it run so the only thing is if you were playing where your tanks don't spawn with fuel it would be quite hard to fill up Hasn't let up at all. Like rain's full, uh, full on. Do 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 do. Another terminal. Is this one if that's a road? I guess that's a road, and this is tracks. Let's see, yeah, it's probably a road. Oh, it's taking a long time to get here. Still have. Uh, 3,000 of something meters, I, I would presume. I'm assuming. That those trains still have. <laughs> Eight times the amount of fuel. That Well, that one uses two tankers hooked up, and that one has three tankers. Oh, is this where he was going? The logistics Depot. So that's it. There is one more that way. <laughs> Can I make it to the end of the line. Let's see, let's see here. I think I am going to come back down. I'm just going to hit the end of the line and then we'll come back down here. Let's just see what's here. Sad part is there's no fuel tanks. Nice little bounce. Oh, 
Oh, actually, here, one second. I, wanna, I do want to check one thing before we uh, take off. I don't know if I can switch tracks, get into this track, and head back. I don't want to do like a ton of switching. Switching and releasing. Because I could. Could do it. Oh. Yeah, it's not worth it. Not right now. I'll say if I was heading back, like I would, you know, look at. Switching engines. Alright, brakes are off. Let's back it up. Oof. Wheel slipping, I need to pay attention here. Back up to speed. Just give me a second. I have to bring up my. Four. Quickly head down to this one. Stop. No. This one. We're going to stop and head that way. Not sure if this engine has run out of fuel yet. My thing is, is if those two engines can send ele enough electrical charge to keep this up, 100 percent. We're not going to touch it because I know what happens when we touch it. Lighthouse.
<laughs> Excuse me. Oh. It's probably like another 15 minutes of that. Oh boy. 15 minutes. Or so. Maybe. Who knows? Here we go to save the day. Alrighty, where are we at? Getting there. Well, this engine must be out of... Because I'm not out of fuel yet. Ooh. It's coming. I have about another two minutes, three minutes before it runs out. Then this engine's gonna die. It's coming. We're about to pass the other switching. Feels like some sort of countdown.
300. There it comes. See how long it takes for the engine to die out. See how it's going to affect our speed. Okay, we're out of fuel. There goes RPMs. Amps are dying. Oh, it's trying to turn over because the uh, battery charge is still good. I'm gonna turn that starter off. Oh, it's tough when we're going around the corner here. There we go. Oh, we're still doing good, still running really well. Now we wouldn't have lost this guy if we put the tanker in between and ran the hoses to each one. Oh, but see the battery charge is starting to go down. The wheel slip. Oh, we got wheel slip. Charge is going up. Let's get rid of that light. There we go. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's enough power in those two engines. completely dead it's running it's it's running off those other so even though it's no amps but the batteries remain charged from the other engines and the nice thing is they're generating enough power that this engine can still run its electric motor So we don't even lose any any speed. Okay, where are we at? Oh, crap. I mean, crud. We went past. We weren't paying attention. Okay, 
Alright, maybe we should use the train brake. It's taking a little bit to slow down here. There we go. It's good to know, engine can die and other ones can keep it alive. That's a far ways to go. down a bit. The oh, rain's not full. Still high winds. Anyway, we just wanted to go check out this track. It's too busy not paying attention. Alright, we're not going to push it beyond that. As we chew, 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 chew. I forgot to turn on, we should turn on the heaters just to make sure we can still, still survive up here. Pretty good, not bad. Ninety-seven. Going down a hill. So that was a steep or a sharp corner. Steep hill too. slipping up the hill. It's not too far away now. Excuse me. So we see that switch will slow down. It's a toggle, okay.
gonna slip. Oh, we're gonna slip here. Four. This is the wind. The wind's coming from that direction, so once maybe we turn right, I wonder if we'll slow down. Slowly losing speed. I think so. Seems like the wind does a big, big number on it. So I don't want to push it any harder. Well, there's one way to test this. Just go like this, we'll override. No wind. Yeah, see without the wind up to ninety seven. We'll put rain. So 
see if we can get this up to uh, max. Or, well, 94, I think it was. Point 0.94 was safe. Settle, go to tick. Let's settle. Give it a tick. Let's settle. Give it a tick. Here. Close enough. Yeah, so definitely rain and wind introduce factors against your ability to get up to full speed. It's good to know, good to know. It's gonna look like a little snake. Again, we ran out of fuel in the first engine. And now all the power is being supplied by the two other engines. Which still gives this engine the ability to run its electric engine since it's receiving power, its batteries are still 100%. Now the shock absorbers are doing, doing well. They did fall off at the beginning, but uh, that would look good. It's excellent. It's very excellent. Excellente. Basically just wanting to see where this is going. Oops. Oh, that's it. It's the furry. Fury. <laughs> furry. Fury. <laughs> Drilling Co. Oh, that's not bad, so... Now we know, once I make it to the end, it's good, good to know. She's gonna wheel slip around this corner. Here I come to save the day. Breaks up full too. Whew. Alrighty, let's. I wanted to see how much we ran out of fuel on those tanks. See how much we burnt through. Ooh, a little glitchy. Uh, fuel still full, as it should be, because it has two tankers. So it's still almost full. 
Oh, fuel's max. What's going on here? Pumped a hose, pumped a tanker. I don't think that's right. Oh, hold on. There we go. So, 82. Yeah. Makes it about... It's about right. So this one's almost... is 20-something thousand empty. Not really much point of looking at the other two because it's about the same. So I mean, if you really want to do this, you can without running one engine dry. Is you could just have one tanker with the between the two engines, and then you can haul whatever you need to. Like we made it here on a full tank without any issues. So you know this these tankers hold roughly four times the amount that we need to get here. So one tanker, two engines is fine. Yeah, that would work. And then you can run a hose up to the front engine, hose to the back engine. Good to know. Oh, well, that was a uh, one of the, my first real tests to see. Um, I did have a couple couple of members or in the community try this so it's good to know uh, I think this is gonna be this will be uploaded this is version 1.3 of the train and uh, 1.2 of the tank I believe so or 1.1 I can't remember what it's at now I think it's at version 1 so just like to say thank you for watching and hope you have a great